<coughs> this is the hottest kid on the block today. And we've ridden it yes. for about an hour each. Exactly. I'm sure you've got a lot of points, I've got a lot of points. Yeah. It is hot. Indeed. Where do we start? I'm lost. After riding the motorcycle, I'm lost. Lost in a good way? Yes, <laughs> lost in a good way. It looks like the Triumph people have pulled a bunny of nowhere. I can understand magicians pulling a bunny out of the hat, yeah. but this is sheer magic. I think they pulled an elephant out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Something out of thin air, possibly. I don't know. I talk a lot, but I think today I am a little <laughs> <laughs> speechless. Speechless. After listening to all those reviews, uh -huh. watching the reviews. I didn't watch this time. I did watch. I was yeah. curious to understand. And it had the typical trend. You invited, you're taken care of well, you ride a motorcycle and you need to speak good about it. Yes. That's okay. Nothing it's wrong. Fine. And it's, it's like, you know, fine. You speak good and then over a few weeks, things start, the, the facts the, start to come out. The actual facts, Yeah, the yes. criticism. And that's how everything works and I, I'm True. perfectly okay with how that works. Nothing seems to be coming out bad. <laughs> <laughs> First, look impressions. You want to start out with the looks? Yes. Okay. Bike is a bit compact. It's smaller than I expected. Same uh, here. It's very small. Probably a commuter, typical commuter size. I mean, like you park it next to an X-Pulse, people might notice the X-Pulse more than this. Why don't we park the X-Pulse? Just to give a sense of proportion for whoever is watching. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yes. This gives a sense of proportion and uh, idea of how big or how small or how compact this motorcycle, motorcycle is. is. Yeah. yeah. This has a bigger road presence compared to this, but it has a charm of its own. So this is the sense of proportion. It's Small, it's compact. It looks more like a Japanese machine than a yeah. typical European machine. And the design elements, yeah, the detail, everything is very, very Triumph. I think the Triumph, uh, Triumph company gave specs to Bajaj and say, You please, shh. <laughs> don't talk, just do. Xerox it. <laughs> don't talk, just do. And Bajaj took that very seriously. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've done a good job. So the credit goes to Triumph for the design, the concept, specification, the performance. The execution at this price credit yeah. goes to Bajaj. Bajaj. Let's Honestly, get this yes. out of the way. Yeah, it's looking like an eyesore, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Ouch! That was cruel. <laughs> no, no, cruel. No, you, you look at it, Baski, you look at it, right? So you look at the lines. But again, we are not doing a comparo, but then visually when you look at it, it stands out as an eyesore. Let me get it off the way. So Baski, now that we've got the compare of the expulse in terms of the Physical presence. Size and presence yeah. yeah. What basically stood out for you? The engine. Amazing, isn't it? It can run in sixth gear at 40 kilometers per hour, roll yeah. the throttle open. Yep. A minor slight stutter, so and then it, it takes off. True. Like a scalded cat. <laughs> yes, and it moves without a jerk, unlike the Duke 390. I know it's not a Comparo, but then a lot of people think it could be the same engine that's got fitted into the Triumph, no, but no, 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 no way. No, no, nothing like that. The Duke needs to be revved and pushed. It's not at all comfortable below 4,000, 5,000 RPM. It starts to actually liven up and show what it's capable of. Mm -hmm. This thing from right from the get-go idle, yep. it's got the grunt. I don't know what Triumph has done. <laughs> Whatever they have done, they have worked some magic with this engine. It's got good low-end, decent mid-range and a very good top end as well. Normally what happens, it either people end up with a jack of all trades mm. or a king of top end like the KTM. Yes. This is a king of all trades. I did not expect, like I said, all the reviews and the videos, YouTube. Mm -hmm. No wonder everybody is raving about it. Well put together, good stuff, good finish, typical Triumph. Uh, foot design, pegs foot and pegs, the brake pedal. Brake lever, the exhaust. The engine is very typical, a trademark mm. Triumph look. 
this thing is also another time you got some winds here some aesthetic i'm sure this probably is aesthetic i don't know but nice badge and at that price i don't see them having cut any major corners or even a minor corner i don't see them cut anything there's got a usb charger also here oh wow yeah, yeah. i didn't type notice c. that type c yes and the led headlight mm -hmm. it's got drl mm -hmm. it's got a low beam and a high beam so it's not like you could get i mean it's easy to get away with a low beam and yeah. high beam you know and cut down cost on the drl so there is no way they have taken a shortcut to keep cost down and they have come up with this at this price i'm just curious to see how long they can hold on to this price what do i find wrong with this i mean that's the <laughs> that's a challenge I, i don't think baski we would be able to find anything wrong unless until we buy one keep it in a garage ride it for a couple of years then possibly a complete picture the total cost of ownership the service and all that stuff that comes in yeah at this point in time there is nothing to bitch about exactly yeah if anything i do now which i will do is nitpicking <laughs> true because i have to find something wrong with it was came even surprised look at the way the sari guard has been integrated yeah you know they, they didn't give you an awkward weld here on the swing arm to host it you know even that that's come in with a neat you, design you seen the sari guard on the bigger triumphs yeah they look like they were removed from somebody's house gate and yeah. stuck it in there in there this is that's probably the only item bajaj designed <laughs> <laughs> the sari guard yeah. the indian sari guard indian sari guard they are good at that you know they they make good sari guards uh, everything else is designed by uh, triumph that sari guard is by bajaj so bajaj. i need to give credit where credit is due due posture how do you like the riding posture i think it was fairly neutral with slight incline to the front but that's okay that's how it should be that's how it should be i don't prefer a complete straight upright yeah yeah <clears throat> slight bias Lean towards forward. the front yeah. that was perfect the knees a little bit curled perfect for me i don't know persons like who are a bit taller than me how they find or persons who are shorter than me yeah. how they would find shorter it works works even better it works even better right? yeah. i think 59510 uh, is hmm is on, on the, the on, on the, the belt on yeah the, on the line beyond that personal comfort True. i found it pretty okay 50 minutes on the motorcycle yeah there were, my ass was not hurting seat yeah. seems okay yeah, even though it's a bit soft it's a bit soft but okay. i didn't be didn't bottom out to the plate so mm -hmm. that was okay posture the levers the brake yep. feel was good shifting was pretty decent controls mirrors bar and mirrors i am not a fan of bar and mirrors they me look too. fancy me too they're a bit too low a bit too far outside for me to use yeah. it i think it's probably something that i'll get used to definitely yeah, but, but this is a bit out of the norm yeah. we are used to stocks yes a bit higher chuck these off and stick in some stock mirrors if ones. i buy this motorcycle slipper clutch gear shifts are seamless the only thing at higher rpm in lower gear i found the throttle a bit snatchy that's the one thing i will pick on out of two things i will pick the one is in second or third at a higher rpm a bit of hesitation shut and open it's snatchy yes <laughs> i i i noticed that it it's either idle throttle which i will refer to as for just for reference as 0% throttle open it the next is say 10% throttle yeah. it doesn't seem to so have, the, have that 1 2 3 <laughs> it's possible to do it i checked it out i'll be very gentle with it then it goes into goes in. 10% it goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay if i lit slightly brisk with so it zero to it. 10 i i i did pick it up but it did not Bother you know diminish my riding experience certainly not honest. certainly not uh, it's something electronic which means it can be even resolved with a little bit of uh, software engineering but somehow i did not like this mess of cables here look at the cables coming in and it, it's a very very busy uh, area yeah, it's a busy area Let's see the swing arm look at the shape yeah i can't see it maybe much from the exhaust side it's like what they used to call the banana swing arm you know it's got one angle here it goes up yeah then it's and then curves down, down a bit so, i'm sure there is some function to this form looks good too So basically I think we should move on from the engine the looks of it more about the ride experience yeah what are your comments on the ride experience good suspension is good yeah typical street suspension a bit mm -hmm. firmer than what i'm used it's to it's a bit taunt yeah nothing to complain about it does have some travel it works well we had some yes pretty horrible roads also on the way yep. here and it was okay so oh, i am happy with the suspension 
for a street motorcycle it needs to be firm it can't be wallowing like a adventure motorcycle good job on the suspension mm -hmm. i think the setting is spot on spot on yeah the tires i think they are apollo indian yeah, make apollo apollo quite decent i didn't uh, of course i didn't do a sagar sheldaker <laughs> really or really? or a, a, a smoking slide <laughs> only he can do all that uh, i mean hats off to him he's one hell of a rider and orator yes <laughs> orator the man is full of style <laughs> and that's why they call him the sarge sarge <laughs> i was smiling most of the time when riding this motorcycle i had a yeah good green i had a green under my helmet <laughs> smiling all the way uh, 50 minutes of riding i was smiling all the way yep nice same here i thoroughly enjoyed the ride yeah comfortable scale. seating is good yeah. handlebars are good true the whole overall position is good yes it's a open motorcycle beyond 100 110 the wind blast gets but then as it got i started to automatically lean 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 forward and it was okay it's okay it's okay i don't know how It's going to be double. Shall we sit and see how, how it's gonna feel? Sure, why not? Mm. Please be the rider. Thank you. I remember doing this on the Hunter. Yes. And we both were comfortable on the Hunter. Okay, that had a backrest, did it? Yes, it had a backrest. This doesn't, but it it's doesn't. got a big fat grab rail. Grab rail. I'm okay. Though without a backrest, I'm not very. You're not very comfortable. Very comfortable, but uh, especially I'm with you riding, I need a backrest. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Triumph would come up with an accessory. Yeah, probably they would come up with an accessory. It's okay. Yeah, and the front as well is comfortable thing, for me. Only thing from the last time, your ass has grown wider. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can clutch it. <laughs> too, too much beer, is it? So, yeah, they say grip the tank. So yeah. they sit here. I grip your ass. Yes. <laughs> So it's okay it's a bit small narrow but okay and acceptable i don't think it's actually cut for two up highway commuting but i think for the city commuting i think it should be okay two up highway commuting i don't know i'm not sure i won't even i won't want to commute two up on this anyway yeah city commuting it should be more than enough right more than you're going to do like 20 30 minutes uh, or 40 minutes backrest is very important because uh, this thing has got such a phenomenal throttle response i probably find myself on the road if i'm not careful <laughs> once you open the throttle it's going to wheelie and you're going to dump me on the road <laughs> rear seat form is not as good as the front we get on yep coolant bottle is here interesting place for the coolant bottle yeah even i was a little bit surprised <laughs> when you said that yeah see bend down twice to see it's yeah it's just above the sump card is just at the front end it's got a plastic protection however it seems to have a, a metal frame on the side so yeah that's okay doesn't matter packaging is good mm -hmm. and last night when i rode it from the showroom to home friday evening traffic peak traffic bangalore first gear second gear first gear second gear the fan was kicking in frequently was it throwing hot wear into your thighs not my below the knee only it didn't really it Go seems up. to be direct a bit better than so many other motorcycles it didn't okay. waft its way up here like the ktms have it probably so it's it kept a bit low okay i i get it uh, baski you remember the tram 660 yeah. we did yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. video yeah. we were talking of tandoori thighs tandoori thighs <laughs> i think the tram has seen that and made a improvement <laughs> Yeah the hot air is it keeps a bit low it doesn't waft up though the fan kept running frequently uh, i didn't feel too much of heat and it was quite easy to handle crawling in first gear in the traffic maneuvering so it did not make its weight felt in other words or rather i let me say it felt light felt light, light maneuverable everything about this is uh, fantastic fantastic job by triumph i have to use a superlative true it's not a good job it's a fantastic job and the paint oh. quality is also decent uh, yeah, yeah, baski if you look good. at it not something that you would want to complain even though i find the red color to be a little bit more appealing i like this black you like this black mm -hmm. so yeah baski in conclusion concise what would you say about this motorcycle okay with my current usage trends this might might be a good one for the city commute yes it has its pluses negatives i think zilch at this point <laughs> yeah and nothing much to talk about yeah nothing much to talk about how's it for you baski i think uh, mm. value for money, money. that's yes. the bottom line 3 lakh 5000 3 lakh 10000 bangalore creating a new yeah, this segment is kind of itself. Uh, 
kicked everybody out of the park and said this is my this is my territory this is my place <laughs> all of you out <laughs> get off and now who can compete with me may dare step into the ring step with in. me see any point in trying to compare it with anything else in this middleweight segment yep this is created one little niche in the segment itself True. i think this is basically up the game so do you think they have a adv version in the pipeline because they've got the basic tenets ready no they will have an adv version in the pipeline let me rephrase that yes they have a adv version in the pipeline <laughs> no they will not launch it hmm. because if this engine sits in an adv frame and yeah. adv suspension who would buy the 660 who would buy the 850 <laughs> who would buy the 900 let me tell you nobody will smell those motorcycles this can kick butt yes no, so I, I, not I only think... will they clean out uh, every other uh, mid to hmm. 1000 cc adv they will clean out their own sales their own also sales. <laughs> <laughs> so how difficult or how easy is it for triumph to come up with an adv they are the kings of adv yeah Yeah, they have yeah. a fantastic range of the Tiger range, yes. a Tiger 400. If they can come up with this, mm. a lakh more. Yeah, it's my heart ka khel. They say yes. in uh, my terrible Hindi accent. Pardon <laughs> me, but <laughs> coming up with a 400 Tiger is just a yeah. click of a finger. Exactly. They will design it, and Bajaj will make it. But they won't. They wouldn't come. That's why they're coming with that scrambler, that ha- half-ass <laughs> step into adventure. <laughs> as if they don't know how to make, make adventure, adventure motorcycle. motorcycle that is the only thing i'm going to bitch about today <laughs> because there's nothing else to bitch about this motorcycle i mean this is a complete uh, yeah head shot to the hat product and right? salute the only thing i'm going to bitch about is i know why they'll not come up with a tiger 400 <laughs> because they can kick butt they will clean out everything in the middle weight segment including their own sales their own so sales. their yeah. big fat margins they make on the 900s the 850s the 660s will be they last may, will be last they'll make more of these motorcycles but that will be the end of their big bike sales <laughs> <laughs> they might as well shut down their plant in thailand and in uk and only <laughs> make stuff in india pure <laughs> so <laughs> i could find the motor not tiring out even if you do 100 110 all day long so and in vibes, indian a little bit of vibes at yeah. 7 7000 but yeah. that's at 120 onwards it On, starts to yeah, be upwards of 120 so how long is anybody going to be nailing 120 i think 100 110 is more yeah. in our best range for india 100 to 120 yes is the cruising speed and this has got a brilliant cruising ability from 40 to 120 <laughs> yes and it's got a little bit more juice left in case you would want to you know ram the throttle to push in plan in overtaking maneuver this scrambler is supposed to come in uh, november october yeah, november october sometime. november and uh, it's got a little more a more erect exhaust oh yeah <laughs> 10 mm more travel <laughs> <laughs> and one big mudguard here and that is a scrambler <laughs> who are you trying to fool triumph <laughs> that is an excuse yes. not to make an adventure motorcycle true true <laughs> the only people who can make an adventure motorcycle and have nothing to lose is royal enfield <laughs> i think yeah. <laughs> yeah they don't give a damn <laughs> I, they don't have anything to lose they only true. have anything to gain, gain yeah <laughs> good job nice motorcycle for those yeah. who wish to have some exciting commuting and the occasional high out of town commute, rides yeah. brilliant commuter mm. it's uh, people will get to their office in, on time yes or they will be very late because they'll take the long way around <laughs> <laughs> bangalore traffic is terrible so i'm not sure it will be great in bangalore anyway no motorcycle is great in bangalore in commuting in some cities where traffic flows a bit and there mm. are some better roads and less traffic this is going to be this is yes. uh, hoot to ride thus far good job mm. salute to triumph for the design and bajaj for the pricing so yeah. that means 